There are two common ways that you can write the equation of a plane in space. One way is using something called standard form, and another way is what's called general form. We're going to break down the two different ways here in this video. So we know that to write the equation of a plane, you need a point in the plane, and you need a vector that's normal to the plane. So let's say our point in the plane, we'll call it x naught, y naught, z naught. And let's say that your vector that's normal to the plane, we'll call it the vector ABC. So standard form, we've talked a good bit already about in the last couple of videos. Um, to, to write this form down, which I'm, I'm not going to repeat again where this comes from, it's A times X minus X naught plus B times Y minus Y naught plus C times Z minus Z naught equals zero where the a, the b, and the c is from the normal vector, the x not y not z not is from the point in the plane, and the x, y, and z themselves are just variables, period. All right, well, this is what's called standard form, but you can get to what's called general form by distributing the a, the b, and the c through and kind of shuffling some terms around. So kind of ignore what I'm doing here in yellow, um, but if you distributed these guys here, the A, the B, and the C, you'd have AX minus A times X naught plus BY minus B times Y naught plus CZ minus C times Z naught equals zero. And then what if you save the AX, the BY, and the CZ, the terms with the variables, you would have AX plus BY plus CZ equals, and let's, let's move the AX naught, the B times Y naught, and the C times Z naught. Let's move those to the right hand side because all of those are constants. A, B, and C, X naught, Y naught, Z naught, all six of those terms are constants. So on the right hand side, if you added them all, you'd have AX naught plus B, y naught plus c z naught but check it out everything here on the right hand side that's just a constant everything there is just a constant so if you just uh, absorb all those constants together just to be a one single giant constant we'll just call it d and we'll leave the left hand side as is we'll have ax plus by plus CZ equals whatever this random constant is, this is what's known as general form. So you have standard form, and then you have general form, and they each have their benefits. Um, standard form, you can read off the normal vector and quickly see a point that's in the plane. General form, you can quickly read off the normal vector. It's not quite as straightforward to see a point in the plane, but, but you, can still, you can still do it though. So um, these are your two different forms of writing a plane, the equation of a plane in space. All right, so let's wrap up this video with a couple of very quick examples. Uh, let's look at uh, one of each, one of standard form, one of general form, and kind of read off what, what we can. So here in this equation that's written in standard form, let's see, can you quickly identify a point that's in that plane? Hopefully you can. It's the x naught, y naught, z naught, which would be negative 1, 5, 8. Because it's x minus negative 1, that's where you get x plus 1, y minus 5, and z minus 8. So negative 1, positive 5, and positive 8. And the normal vector are the coefficients, the a, the b, and the c. So the normal vector would be 4, comma, negative 1, comma, 2. And just pay attention and note that this is a point and this is a vector, and those are very different things, so don't, don't confuse the two. Um, just for the heck of it, I mean, we don't have any specific directions for this exercise, but just for the heck of it, let's also convert this guy quickly to general form, just, just because. So if you distributed the four, the negative one, and the two, you would get four x plus four, minus y plus 5 if you distribute the negative, 
and then plus 2z minus 16 equals 0. We'll save the 4x, the minus y, and the 2z. So you have 4x minus y plus 2z equals, and then we'll subtract 4, subtract 5, and add 16 to the, to the right-hand side. So you would get, uh, let's see here, what's that? Uh, 7, I believe. Um, 16 minus 9. Yeah, you get 7. So these are the same plane. This, um, uh, rep they both represent the same plane in space, but the yellow is in standard form and the purple is in general form. And notice, either way, you can quickly read off the normal vector ABC. All right, last one, last one. Um, here's a vector, uh, I'm sorry, a plane written in general form. So what can you quickly read off from this guy? Well, you can quickly read off the normal vector. It's ABC, so negative 3, comma, 7, comma, 1. Now, what doesn't seem quite as straightforward is the point in the plane, because for that, you kind of needed the x naught, the y naught, and the z naught, that, you know, where it's equal to 0, and this isn't. This is equal to 12. So how can you determine a random point in the plane? Well, you just have to find some x, y, z that makes the equation be true. So just think about it. If, if nothing else, you can let two of the coordinates be 0. So like, for example, if the y was 0 and the 0, 0, negative 3x equals 12, the x would have to be negative 4. So this is one point in the plane. There are many, many others that could also be the right answer, but this is just one. You could also have 0, 0, 12 because that would equal 12 as well. You could have all sorts of different combinations of x's, y's, and z's that would make the equation equal 12. So um, anyways, we're not gonna separate this guy out into um, your standard form. Usually that's, that's usually just a one-way street. Normally you can go from standard form into general form, but you usually don't go the other direction from general form back into standard form.